Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make an old egg on by cheap. Okay, so first things first, I started by marking my stock template onto a piece of old scrap plywood I had lying around. After that was finished, I then cut all the curves out on my new Ryobi scroll saw. I then cut all the straight lines with the circular saw because it cuts a lot straighter than my scroll saw. This is what the stock looks like after I've cut it out. I left a hole in the back of the stock to accommodate the file extinguisher once we glue the whole thing together. Next, I clamped the stock together so I could sand any imperfections out and so both sides would look exactly the same. I then sanded the whole thing down with a variation of files and sanding tools. Okay, now that the stock's done, I then decided to move on to the fire extinguisher. I first made sure that it was completely discharged and unscrewed at the top. Once I've done that, I can then clamp it into my bench vise and drill an 11.5mm hole to accommodate the tubeless car tyre valve. Now that the hole has been drilled, I then put a bit of wire onto the car tire valve and threaded it through the mouth of the fire extinguisher until I found the hole that I just drilled. I then used my hands and some pliers to pull the valve through to create an airtight seal. I then noticed that there was a knob on the side of my fire extinguisher and I decided I could use this to anchor it to the stock. So I then marked out where that bit was going to sit and drilled two holes so that bit could sit inside the stock. I then decided to anchor the stock on the other side using the pressure dial, uh, but I first had to chisel out a section of the stock so I could put the dial in place. I then screwed the pressure dial back into place and the stock was anchored on both sides. I then cut three pieces of wood, two for the back and one for the barrel part of the gun. 
These bits will ensure that the stock is strongly secured to both sides and the barrel will have support. And then put glue on both sides of the wood and stuff it onto where it was going to go on the stock. I then drilled a pilot hole every inch or so and then stuck a nail through to ensure that this was a permanent attachment. While we're waiting for the stock to dry, I then cut about a metre length of aluminium tubing. I found that this tube would snugly fit if I just shoved it into the end of the fire extinguisher hose. I then put a screw on the end of the stock so the barrel would have something to rest on and so I can make sure it was level. I then did the same thing about where the hose and the bit of aluminium tubing connected. Here you can see how the whole thing comes together. I then cut a piece of strapping and placed it where the lip was on the fire hose. I then drilled the hole and put two wood screws through the stock to hold it securely in place. Then to hold the end of the barrel in place, I then put two screws very close together on the end of the barrel and made sure I was careful not to bend the barrel. Now the gun's fully functional, but I decided I'd give it a coat of paint. I first covered up the pressure dial and the trigger. I also removed the barrel because I wanted that to stay silver. After a few coats, the gun starts to look like this. This is what the gun looks like after it's been finished. I've given it two or three coats of matte paint and I've reattached the barrel. I then went out and bought some 9.5mm ball bearings because they fit perfectly down the barrel. Now I reckon it's time for a test. <laughs> 